Today, doing a collab, and I'm going to be doing it with multiple accounts. They will be all in the description box below. Falling in love collab. Looks that are fall or autumn colours and theme. I'm using the Coven Cosmetics, the Coven Palette, which is a indie brand. This is the colour story and the shades inside of the palette. This whole side here, the much more grungy side, what I would call more fall autumn themed. So I'm going to be dipping into like this orangey shade, this brown up here. I'm also going to be using this diamond glitter shade. I am using other stuff, but I'm mostly using this palette for the look today. I'm going to go in first and foremost with the NYX Pore Filler Primer. I'm going to prime my face. I even shaved and all for this. Now going in with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Can you focus, you prick? Thank you. Focus on my face when I'm trying to show you something. Camera, root. My concealer, the Hourglass Vanish Concealer in the shade Creme. So I usually just do a dot on the inner corner. And then I'm going in with Ox Bloom, which is an Australian brand. I love this, this is my typical brush that I use for concealer, it's a nude by nature brush. Hi Beb. Hi Beb. Hi Beb. Hi Beb. Last but not least, I'm going in with BYS Sport Fix Concealer. I'm using, I'm using the shade Ivory. Looks pale as hell. You can barely even see on camera. I want to try a mixture of these two. So I've got the Mecca Max 2-in-1 Selfie Skin Foundation in LC2 Buff. And then I've got the Ox Bloom All Day Wear Foundation in the shade Porcelain 0.1. And I'm just going to do equal squirts of it on this. I'm going in with the Mecca Max Off Duty Contour Stick. This is in the shade Medium. It is beautiful. Nice. It looks a little bit more like an all brown on camera, but this is very cool tone. So I just am going in with a Star Gem Cosmetics face slash eye brush. I'm pretty sure this is one of the eye brushes. I just use it for contour because I love the shape. I'm now going in with the Mecca Max Off Duty Blush Stick in the shade Sorbet, and it is a gorgeous shade. And I just go in with my Wet n Wild Rebel Rose Blush Brush, go along with that snatchery of the contour. Put a little bit of blush on my nose. I am also, to start tying this into a bit more of an autumn vibe, I'm going to go in with this blush, which I broke on my last video slash live stream, which was for the Orgy palette. This is the blush from Sparrow Cosmetics. The name is Eowyn, I'm pretty sure. I'm just going to gently tap, get the smallest amount, tap it on the back of my hand because it is quite a dark shade, so you can really see a little bit of pigment. And I'm just going to use this to really like blur that edge of the pink blush with my contour. Ooh. Currently going in with a loose translucent powder from Ox Bloom, same brand as the foundation. It's just a translucent setting powder. Just quickly setting my face before I go in with my eye makeup. Now 
Now I'm going in with the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas Eye Primer and Concealer. Doing that on my eyeballs. I'm going in with a Morphe M224 brush, which is just a little concealer brush. Whoa. I want to go in with that orange first. Go in with a Morphe M330. Oh, look at it. I am going in with this, a darker brown shade here, with this fluffy, oh, slightly smaller fluffy packing brush from Morphe. So I'm now going to go in with the Mini Orgy Palette shade Frozen Fire in the middle. So now I'm just going to go back in with this little bit smaller of a brush. This is a Morphe M149. Yes, M149 and I'm just going to use this to, to go in and Put a little bit more on this inner corner part of my eyeball. Whoa, that looks trippy. I'm just going back in with Frozen Fire on this small M149 from Morphe and I'm using That's Star Jam Setting Spray just to foil it. I'm just going to go in with this top glitter here and I'm just going to pack it over the top of my lids and then I'm going to go in with inner corner highlight and then I'm going to do liner. Actually, I might not do liner. Does this work with this brush? Oh yeah, it works. I'm going to go in with these highlighters from Star Gem Cosmetics and I'm going to use this shade here, which is New Light, as an inner corner. I'm also going with the highlighter shade New Light. I'm going to be going in just above my eyebrow, just to give it a little bit of pop and to tie the inner corner highlight in with it. I'm going to also put a little bit on the middle of my forehead, just to get the highlighter popping. little bit on the, the nose. I want to now go in with, I think I want to go in with this little bit bronzy yeah. highlighter. Going to marry a little bit of that bronziness that's in the eyes with the highlight. I'm just going to place it right up here. I'm just going to quickly go in with this, which is the MAC in Extreme Dimension 3D Black Mascara. It's beautiful mascara. Now 
Need to clean a little bit of makeup because I got the scar on my face. Decided I'm not going to do lashes, I'm just going to do mascara with this look to kind of like how it's looking just with the mascara. Now I'm going to go in and do my lips. Going with the shade 1994 from Star Gem Cosmetics. It is a dark brownish red. And I'm also going to use the shade Wild Child as well, which is this bright red. I also want, for some odd reason, to have sparkly lips, even though I'm really liking how this combo is looking. I want to put this from Stargen on it. This is called Firelight. It is a shimmery red loose pigment, and I want to put it over the top of the center. So I'm living for the way that works and made the lips a little bit metallic and shiny. This kind of goes with the whole glistening vibe. So yes, this is the look that I ended up coming up with for the Falling In Love collab with food and makeup skin like Laura as well as other people. All of the information will be down in the description box below as well as the playlist that has been created for all the videos that will be in this collab. So this is the eye look that I came up with. I mostly used the Coven Cosmetics, the Coven palette used all of these nice beautiful shades as well as the glitter to do this. I also used some stuff from Stardom Cosmetics, a highlighter for the actual eyes itself. These two, I went in with this shade and this shade do this look, as well as I used these two lipsticks and this shimmer pigment to do the lips. And then on my eyes, a little bit of random crap. So yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy the video and I hope you enjoy everyone else's collaboration videos that they did for this specific collab. Next month we are doing a Studio Ghibli um, collab. So I'm, doing, I'm going to be doing a look hopefully inspired by No Face from Spirited Away. So please look forward to that and I look forward to filming it. Thanks for watching. Bye. Uh, oh, me back, me back, me neck, me crack. Uh, yeah.